Hi, I'm Claire O'Leary. I'm a survivor's healing catalyst and a Reiki master. I'm here today to share a little bit about how I became a healing catalyst and why it's so important to your healing as an incest survivor. I left my job the year before to start my Reiki healing practice. And I was writing some marketing copy. And when I got done, there was this flash of a little girl standing in the doorway. Tears were streaming down her face. I'd seen this little girl several times before, but I chose to ignore her. I knew as a Reiki master that it was time to pay attention. So I tuned in, really got myself grounded, got my journal, and I started writing. And as I'm writing, I can feel everything. I remember all the details. For the first time, I am now sure that yes, this was my, my uncle. Before that, I had a vague image of somebody, but I wasn't sure who. I felt everything, absolutely everything. Tears are just streaming down my face as I write. My parents had said, don't go in the bedroom, you'll wake up your sister. They leave for just a few minutes and my uncle takes me by the hand into the bedroom, even though I say, no, mommy and daddy said, don't go in the bedroom. Oh, it'll be okay, he says. We'll be quiet. So he takes me in the bedroom and proceeds to molest me. Moments later, we hear the doorknob turn. He is out of there like a flash and standing in front of the kitchen sink by the time the door opens. I, on the other hand, have to put on my underwear. So as I come out, I know that I'm in trouble. My parents are sitting there at the kitchen table. They are furious. We told you not to go in the bedroom. Tears are streaming down my face. By now I'm hiccuping. And I'm wondering, I was a bad girl. Will they still love me? I am getting in trouble for something my uncle did and I wonder, why doesn't he say something? Well, of course he's not going to say something. But when you're five years old, you don't know that. What I realized by writing this and completely feeling it and really being there in the moment, and this didn't take more than 15 minutes, is that the decision I made in that moment was in order to be loved, I had to be the good little girl. So I became the good little girl. I was whoever anybody wanted me to be in that moment so that I could be loved. And I have seen so many other women like myself, who can't disagree for fear of not being loved, who can't say what they mean, who feel like they have no voice. It's stuck, completely stuck in their throat because they just 
can't disagree. The really great thing <clears throat> about going back to this for me is that I realized that for 55 years, I have been operating from the perspective of a five-year-old who just wanted to be loved. And the good news was, I no longer needed to operate from that. No, my life didn't change in 30 seconds, but I felt like this weight was completely lifted off my shoulders. And it was the most amazing feeling. I felt like I really needed to share this with you, with other survivors. I became a survivor's catalyst, a healing catalyst, and started doing workshops. And I didn't really claim incest survivors as my audience, but every time I did a workshop, there were two, there were three, there were more. And every time I did one, more and more incest survivors and sexual assault survivors would be in my class. Until finally, it was 100%. Every single person in my workshop was a survivor. They'd come to me because I had finally learned how to heal. And I use all of the things that I learned to heal to help them through the anger, through the pain, the shame, the blame, the self-blame, to really help them move through all that, to reclaim their voice, to be self-empowered, and to be able to have those really close connections with people that they have craved all their life. To feel seen and heard, to be seen and heard. And that is why I do what I do. I invite you to take some action today towards your healing path. What is your next best step? Chat with me absolutely free for 45 minutes to discover where you are in your healing journey. Where would you like to be in just a few months or maybe even a year or more? What's holding you back? And what are your next best steps for your healing journey? It could be working with me but it may not. Click on the link below, schedule your appointment. It's completely free. I look forward to seeing you soon.